All right, what's good world? I'm out here on my first solo venture for you guys, and I wanna focus on my men right now, and I wanna holla at y'all, and I wanna answer an age-old question for y'all to help y'all out if y'all are struggling just a little bit. You know, none of us are perfect. We all got room to grow. God knows that I do, but I wanna help y'all out here. Cause I know a lot of y'all out there are struggling. How many of y'all, you know, got a, you know, I feel like in your relationship, in your marriage with your queen, your spouse, how many of you feel like you're not getting treated the way that you want to, or you're not getting what you want, or your needs aren't being met, and you just don't know what to do, so you retreat away from the situation, or you just keep score, or you don't play fair, or heaven forbid, you go out and commit adultery. What do you do? I'm here to tell you, gentlemen, this is what you do. When your woman, when your woman just isn't treating you right, if she just isn't meeting your needs, here's what you do. Listen up real close. You love her. That's it. It's that simple. You pour into her. You pour into her. You act in a loving, sacrificial manner. And in that essence, now you are giving. And it's in that giving that we actually receive. What does that mean? The joy and love you give is then returned to you. But then again, you sit there, well, my wife's not meeting my needs, so why should I give? You know, and yeah, it's risky. Well, here's the thing, a lot of people get this twisted, but people make this mistake and they think that a marriage is a 50-50 relationship, that both y'all got to get 50-50 and you meet halfway. How can each individual only give half of themselves to meet in the middle and make it work. So marriage is not 50-50. This committed relationship is not 50-50. Marriage is 100-100. You have to give all of yourself to your mate and your mate has to give all of herself to you, period. That's the only way that it's gonna work because otherwise, if you're just doing 50-50, that means you're doing things with expectations that you're gonna receive something in return. And when you start to expect things, you set yourself up a failure to begin with. And you put an unfair burden upon your mate. So let's think about it. You know, um, when you selflessly focus on your wife's needs, then you'll experience a joy and deep satisfaction of unconditional love. And there it is. It's, it's, it's that unconditional love because that term gets tossed around so much. Like, I love you unconditionally. Okay, what does unconditional love really mean? It means I love you without conditions. It means I love you not because of what you do for me or what you do to me. I love you just because I love you and you are worthy to be loved. That's what unconditional love is. You know, loving without expecting things. Agape love. If you don't know what agape love is, look it up and do a little bit of research. But agape love is that love that transcends the spiritual plane. It is spiritual love. It is the love of God. It is that selfless, 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 unconditional love. Period. So, then you go, wow, can I, you got to pour into your wife. Wow, can I pour into my wife? When you love her, you pour into her by just like knowing her. You got to study. You got to study your wife. You got to know your woman. Know her likes, her dislikes, her hopes, her preferences, you know, her fears. Encourage her to dream. Dream with her. Dream big and live bigger. I love that. I, that's, that's one of my, I love that. Uh, you know, be the one that knows her best and then give her your heart. You know, be real with her. You know, always express her to her how important she is to you. Let your wife know that she is important to you because your wife has to be your priority. The only person that comes before your wife is God. God first, then your wife. And that union covers your family. No friends. I don't care what kind of friendships you have. I don't care what kind of other relationships you have. No one comes before your wife, period. Nobody. You know, period. You know, you got to give your wife respect, vulnerability, time, your undivided attention. You got to give her all these things, you know, always, you know. And here's the biggest part about it, though. You got to do it without keeping score because, once again, that's how you set yourself up for failure. 
you out here and you're saying, well, I did this for her today, so she needs to do this for me tonight. Well, I did this for her, so she needs to do this for me. You start to expect things. Stop expecting. You got to love. You just got to love. Do not keep score. Love is not about keeping score. Loving, selfless, unconditional love is not about keeping score. It's about just loving because they're worthy to be loved, period. You know, okay, so what if you don't get what you want one day? It's not going to be fun. Hey, yes, we're human. We're selfish by nature. We want what we want. That's cool. But so what if you don't get what you want one day? Men, pull your pants up, suck it up, and think about what your queen is going through. Think about it. Yes, we are the men of the house. Yes, we've got to be strong. But you know what? Our wives are our support systems. What are they going through? So we've got to be there for them just as much as they are for us emotionally, mentally. You know, what is she going through? You know, put your feelings aside and show your queen that you put her before yourself. There's nothing wrong with that. There's not so many people going to argue with me on that and say, you know what? No, you got to put yourself first. No, I'm sorry. I put my queen before myself, period, because that's my role as a man. That's what I'm going to do. You know, my wife, my woman, my queen, my queen, Marna Danielle, is my priority above anybody else. Only one that comes before her is God. And then it's Marna, period. That's it. You know, when you do that and when you love without expectation, you know, when you love just because you love loving her, selfless, unconditional, agape love, when you pour into her simply because you love her and she's worthy of that love, then you will get everything you've ever desired and dreamed of. You will get the love from your queen. You will get it. Just love because she is worthy to be loved. And that's it. No matter what, too many people fall into that trap. And I've talked to many of friends. I've made posts on this about Facebook, on Facebook about this before. And I've had plenty of my friends, and, you know, people that I know inbox me and say, man, I didn't think about it like that. Because so many people get so caught up in keeping score and saying, well, she doesn't do this for me, so I don't want to do that. And I'm just going to do this. And I'm going to do that. And next thing you know, no one's communicating. But you just got to love no matter what. Love is not fair. Life is not fair. It's not about being fair. It's about loving unconditionally because God loved us unconditionally and still loves us unconditionally and selflessly. We are not worthy, but he gives us grace and mercy and he loves us. So you know what? It's time we do the same. And men, that's what we do. We, we, that is our role. We are the protectors and providers for our family. So in that, we also protect and provide for our wife's emotional and mental makeup. Period. That is it. Men, you heard it here first. Pour into your women. You know, let them know that they are your priority and you put them before yourself. And you just keep giving. You just keep loving no matter what. And when they see that, you will get everything you ever wanted from your wife. Period. Hey, this is it. I'm out. Uplift yourselves. One love.